All right, gather around, fellow pioneers. You know why you're here? And we're about to dive deep into something that's been on all our minds. Why in the world is the Pi Network's open mainnet taking so long to launch? The anticipation has been through the roof for so long that some of us might have grown gray hairs waiting, so let's peel back the layers on what's really happening behind the scenes with this much-anticipated mainnet launch, and what's taking so darn long. Buckle up, this journey is going to be worth it. Before we jump in, I want to ask you this, why do you think the Pi Network is taking so long to open its mainnet? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and, hey, if you missed my previous videos on the latest Pi Network developments, don't worry. I've got the links in the description to help you catch up. And here's a fun one, type Pi Network to the moon, along with your country name in the comments to show some love from wherever you are. Remember, hit that like button, share this video with fellow pioneers, and make sure to subscribe for more updates on the Pi Network. We've got tons of exciting content coming your way, and your support really helps us keep you informed. Just a quick heads up, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and is not financial or investment advice. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. You've been mining Pi for months, even years now, right? You log into the app, hit that mine button like clockwork, and boom, Pi coins are slowly piling up. But here's the catch. While we're all eagerly stacking up those Pi coins, they can't be traded or spent just yet. All eyes have been locked on the moment Pi's open mainnet goes live marking that sweet transition where Pi moves from being a cool concept to an actual functioning cryptocurrency. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? But why are we stuck in this limbo of waiting? Why isn't the open mainnet already out there, letting us pioneers flood the markets with our Pi coins? Well, like a grand symphony, bringing the Pi network's open mainnet to life is an intricate, complex process. And trust me, there's more going on behind the curtain than meets the eye. Here's the first thing. You don't rush a good thing. Pi Network's development team isn't just about tossing out a half-baked mainnet and hoping for the best. No, 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 they've got their eyes on the prize, long-term success. And that means making sure Pi's network can handle the heat when it goes live in the open market. Think about it. When Pi's mainnet opens up, it's not just you and me making transactions. We're talking about millions, and I mean millions of people globally, all conducting transactions simultaneously. That's a massive amount of data, coins, and calculations being processed every second. If the mainnet were to launch too soon, without being able to handle this traffic, disaster. We'd be looking at potential hacks, network slowdowns, bottlenecks, you name it. Imagine this, you've built a beautiful, intricate house, but you forgot to test the foundation. The first strong wind that comes along could blow the whole thing down. The Pi Network team is avoiding that nightmare scenario by focusing on testing and tweaking the infrastructure before launching the open main yet. It's like making sure the foundation of that house is solid before inviting the world to live in it. Ah, the wonderful world of regulations. Just hearing the word makes your eyes glaze over, right? But here's the thing, launching a global cryptocurrency is a bit like navigating a legal minefield. Every country has its own set of rules, its own ways of handling digital currencies. One wrong step and, boom, you could be breaking the law in 50 different places at once. Pi Network doesn't want to stumble into any legal pitfalls, which is why regulatory compliance is taking up a big chunk of their time. They need to meet the demands of anti-money laundering, AML laws, make sure they're playing nice with Know Your Customer, KYC regulations, and generally ensure that Pi can operate safely and legally across the world. The KYC process has been particularly challenging. Imagine trying to verify the identities of millions of users across multiple countries with different regulations. It's like trying to herd cats, but on a global scale. They're making sure every user goes through this process so that when the mainnet does launch, it's clean, compliant, and ready to go. But there's something even bigger happening here that goes beyond security and regulations. The Pi Network team is busy building an entire ecosystem around Pi. I'm talking about creating a world where Pi coins aren't just a cool digital token, but an actual currency you can use to buy stuff, exchange value, and make real-world transactions. Imagine walking into a store, grabbing a coffee and paying with Pi, or booking a flight, buying groceries, or even supporting decentralized apps, dApps, using your Pi coins. That's the vision and Pi Network is taking the time to make sure it becomes a reality. They're working on onboarding merchants, developers, and businesses to create this thriving Pi-powered marketplace. 
But let's be real, building an ecosystem from scratch takes time and Pi wants it done right. You don't want to walk into the Pi marketplace and find nothing but a barren desert, do you? No way. You want a bustling, vibrant economy where Pi can actually be used, where it's valuable, where it means something. And here's where things get personal. Let's talk about the psychological impact this delay is having on us pioneers. I get it. Waiting is hard. When you first signed up for Pi, you had high hopes. You probably imagined sitting on a pile of Pi coins, trading them, and maybe even dreaming of buying a Lambo with your sweet Pi profits. But as the months go by, some of that excitement has fizzled. Maybe you're feeling a little frustrated. Some pioneers are even wondering, will Pi ever launch or is this all just a dream? It's okay to feel this way. Many of us have been mining Pi diligently and the wait can feel endless. And with Pi coins currently having no real-world value until the mainnet launch, it's understandable that some might feel disillusioned. But there's another side to this coin. Pun intended. For every frustrated pioneer, there's another who's been quietly building excitement, understanding that good things come to those who wait. The Pi Network team has been keeping the community updated with progress reports, addressing concerns, and, most importantly, being transparent about why things are taking so long. That transparency has been key in maintaining trust and loyalty among us diehard pioneers. So what now? Where does that leave us? Well, my friend, it leaves us on the edge of something big. Sure, the delays have been frustrating, but they're, they're also a sign that Pi Network is doing things the right way. They're focused on making sure the mainnet launch is as smooth, secure, and successful as possible. And when that day finally arrives, all the waiting, all the KYC verifications, all the hours of mining will be worth it. In the meantime, there's still plenty to do. Keep mining, stay engaged, finish your KYC, and continue to be a part of this growing ecosystem. After all, you've come this far, you might as well see it through to the end. So, patience, fellow pioneers. The journey is just as important as the destination. And trust me, when Pi finally launches its open mainnet, we're all going to look back and say, the wait was so worth it. All right, Pioneers, that wraps up today's deep dive into why the Pi Network's open mainnet is taking longer than expected. We've explored everything from the technical challenges of scaling up to the complexities of regulatory compliance and even the grand vision of building a full Pi-powered ecosystem. It's clear that the Pi Network team is focused on getting things right for the long term rather than rushing into it. If you found this breakdown helpful and want to stay updated with more Pi Network news, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your fellow pioneers, and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot and helps us bring you the latest updates on Pi Network. Now here's a question for you. Why do you think the Pi Network is taking so long to launch the open mainnet? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have any thoughts, contributions, or questions about the Pi Network, feel free to share them in the comments section as well. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned, stay mining, and as always, keep that pie spirit alive.